looky here, another vlog up from Jay Morrell. Isn't this exciting? So it is evening and raining and I am out all alone doing some errands. I had a meeting at church and then I had to drop a check off the real estate office because we are putting in yet another offer on another property this weekend. So I'll let you know how that goes. And now I need to run into the Vision Center at Walmart and pick up my contacts because you see I'm wearing my old booger glasses as I call them pick up my contacts then I'm gonna actually hop over to Kroger because I've been working hard to attempt to be faithful to my trim healthy mama hobby and we've been out of Ezekiel bread and so I thought while I'm out I'm gonna get several loaves of Ezekiel bread for myself and then if I can really crunch my time and not vlog too long here, I should still be able to make it over to Sharp Shopper and if they have any of their awesome yogurt deals, I'm gonna fill up a cart on yogurt. We don't really need anything at the house in particular. I'm just gonna do, since I'm out, do a few fill-in items. And of course, it is really rain and heavy and I had to park a mile away, so I'm gonna be in my big Eskimo hood <laughs> for trying to get into Walmart this evening. Yay, sometimes my van locks me in. Of course, now that I'm in here and I got my contacts, I saw all the clearance signs. So I'm just checking out what they have on clearance right now. They have a lot of boys things marked down to see three whole dollars. These are things that are regularly six and eight. So I'm gonna go through and see for my rough and tumble boys if there's any good deals here. Let's see, five, five, six, five, five through eight. Might work well. And then these are a four through eight. That'll work. And So I found Gabriel a pair of size eight pants and I found these big packs of socks for Amelia for a dollar. So I got a couple packs of those for her because we have lots of sock monsters at our house. So I ended up spending $23 in Walmart. I ended up with two packs of socks for Amelia and I actually left with five pairs of pants because I found another pant rack and I went through and I got Gabriel three new pairs and I got Liam two new pairs because we can always add to their pant collection. I also got a little over five pounds, about six pounds of bananas for $5 because we always need bananas at our house. Okay, so that little extra pant and sock shopping ate up a little bit of time. So I'm gonna hop over here and see how quick I can get out of Kroger. I know I can do it. While I'm sitting here in traffic, I'll tell you, I just got my, I just got a text message from my husband because I had asked him if he wanted anything particular while I'm out. And he texted back that he wants snacks. And I said, well, what kind of snacks? And he said, lots. <laughs> so hopefully when I go to Sharp Shopper, they have some kind of good weekend junk foodish snack that I can get for him and the kids to enjoy. Tomorrow, I'm going to do one of my long 12 hour work days which I haven't done those in a while, but I need to get back into the habit of getting one of those done a week, and me taking a Saturday to get them done is easier than me actually taking a weekday at this point in time. So with Ezekiel bread, this is a bread that you can have if you're doing Trim Healthy Mama, if you're doing an e-meal, and I just, I have come to love Ezekiel bread, especially toasted. I can do sandwiches with it. Sometimes I have it with um, a, a jelly or some other plant approved topping on there. And I just, I've, I've been missing it because I've been out. What I like to do, like most things, is I'll buy several loaves and I'll stock up in my freezer. So here at Kroger, it's usually under $4 a loaf. It is more expensive. Um, usually I can get it for $3.59 or so a loaf. And at the health food store in my city, it's like six, seven dollars a loaf. So even though I don't usually do much else at Kroger at this time, if I can hit there once in a while to stock up on Ezekiel bread, I do. Okay friends, I'm gonna put on my Eskimo hat 
and corral us here into Kroger. Again, if I can remember how to get out of my van and stock up on Ezekiel bread. Actually, no, I'm not because I just realized the trials and errors of driving a 16 passenger van. My van is way out in the middle of the parking lot. So pardon me while we pull the van up a little further here. I'm sure no one wants to run into the back of my van. I was about four feet off, so <laughs> hashtag large van problems, right moms? <laughs> Made it out of Kroger. It ended up being $4.59 a loaf. That's about a dollar more than I remember it. They didn't have a lot of choices this time. I got the seven, let me see if I can find it here. And then on my floor, it is. Seven sprouted grains. That's the, this is the loaf I ended up getting tonight. I got four of those. I'll probably go through, I don't know. That's gonna be enough for me at least a month, maybe even two months. Months. I don't have it too often, but when I really want bread and when I'm trying to behave myself, if I have Ezekiel bread on, on hand, it helps me. So I will update you guys on house stuff in between these traffic lights because I'm over on the college town part of our city here. And of course, now I got a green light. So I am just pulling up to Sharp Shopper. There's only about 30 minutes and this place closes. So luckily I don't need much in here except to stock up on some more yogurt and get Travis and the kids some fun snacks to have with daddy while they hang out and watch movies and I think they got more wood to stack and those kind of things so they will work the snacks off. Sharp Shopper if you're not aware in Virginia and Pennsylvania it's an outlet grocery store. It's just wonderful wonderful prices. Check my channel, check my other videos. I've got several blogs of my hauls from Sharp Shopper. It's always worth a stop in here. Although I will admit that all this rain does put a little damper on this store running. It's raining really hard. I wasn't able to vlog in there because it was almost closing time and just getting a little crazy. But I want to show you this real quick deal, of course, in the rain because I have no other light. But these big and chewy granola bars were marked down two for a dollar. So I bought two cases of them. I thought that will be a great weekend snack while daddy has the kids this weekend. So my overall run into Sharp Shopper went great. I got the that awesome two for a dollar deal on those Quaker Oats granola bars. I got several big cases of yogurt, which are gonna be great snacks. I found some Twizzlers and some junk that I know my husband will appreciate while he has the kids tomorrow and I'm working. It'll be a, a nice treat for him after a long, hard week of classes. Um, also, I know I've gotten lots of comments about me getting a yogurt maker. Well, may get a yogurt maker in the near future. Really Really what has spoiled me on the yogurt though is all these years, over a decade, I've been able to get yogurt four for a dollar at Sharp Shopper. And so that's why sometimes if I can't make it out here, I will just go ahead and get more expensive yogurt at a store. But normally I can hit Sharp Shopper and stock up well on yogurt. And so that is the reason why I don't take the time to get a yogurt maker because I'm also a working mom and a homeschool mom. If I can get it for for a dollar, I just pick it up here. A few other things I wanted to go ahead and share. As I mentioned earlier, yes, we are putting in another offer on another property this weekend. We're excited about this property. You know, we've been at this now since September and it's middle of January. <laughs> So we would really like to get a contract nailed down on something so we can move forward. That way we can start packing and making plans. So thank you guys for coming out on the town with me on this rainy evening. And I hope to have another video up soon. What would probably be easiest besides subscribing to this channel is if you subscribe to my personal blog, which is theencouraginghomeschoolmom.com. I also own freehomeschooldeals.com and you can find me on Facebook and Periscope and just all over online but if you subscribe over to the encouraging homeschoolmom.com then you'll get my latest articles my latest encouragement and whenever my videos come out too so I hope you are having a fantastic day talk to you soon bye bye